Now we're into some serious work. So we're into the E for Siete, the third step of the Siete editing process, and that is edit. This is where all of our work happens mostly. So uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be working with individual clips and building them into a sequence over here in the sequence or timeline panel. So before we do that, let's get familiar with some of the essential areas uh, of our workspace. And let's just choose Window and Workspace and set this to Editing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Reset to Save Layout because it's got a specific way it's got these things laid out. I always recommend that you use the Editing Layout Workspace and Reset if needed to get this reorganized. Now there's a lot of panels here and uh, you can easily organize them. So if I go here and I use my scroll wheel, I can work between these different panels within this panel section or group. So this panel group has lots of stuff in it. So we're going to mainly keep the uh, the project panel open here. These other ones are useful, but I don't use them that much. Uh, the other one is the source panel. There's the program panel, which is similar, and the timeline panel, as well as the uh, the, the toolbar. Now, sometimes you may want to also find yourself using similar panels. When you want to find one, you will always be in the window panel, or window menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, source panel to preview and edit a piece of video. So if I double click on a video in the project panel, it's going to open it in the source panel. Now it's in the source panel. It does not, it's not part of the final piece yet. So I'm going to drag through here to find an endpoint. Now these endpoints that I work with, let me find some stuff to work with. Let's get this piece here. The in point is the start of a clip, and the out point is the end of a clip. Now what that means is we're non-destructively editing this piece. Non-destructive means that we keep the original clip intact, but simply refer to it to use specific pieces. So the whole clip is still here, and we're going to click Mark In here, and drag over, and it's not a very good clip to use. Let's work with this here. So I'm going to work with this group of guys cooking. Look at a lot of camera movement here. So I'm going to shorten this down to what I want. And I'm just going to try to find a piece that is not too bad. A lot of movement here. So I may want to, like, that's why I'm previewing it. And you can also preview these things in the project panel itself. So if you click on the project panel menu and choose preview area, now you can preview it here, which can be useful. Let's try to find a better clip to work with. So I'm opening this one up. I'm just going to drag through it using the play bar, the current time marker. And now I've got a piece that I think I can use. So I'm going to start here with mark in. I'm going to drag out until it gets really unsteady. And I want to get something I can work with here. So now I've got this. Now the source panel here shows me the duration of the entire clip in blue and the duration of my edited clip right here. So the internet duration is there. This uh, this is actually the playhead position. So when I move this over, you'll see this number changing. So this blue here matches that blue there. So the overall duration doesn't really show anymore, but the name of the clip is listed here. So if I change to a dozen of the clip, it's going to show me that one. Um, there's a bunch of controls in here. So mark in, mark out. Go to in. There's a go to out here. There's a back step back one frame left. And that can be useful when you're working with minute changes between frames. Step forward, and of course, we have play. So, bunch of stuff to work with there. There's a few other controls in here we could talk about. We're going to keep it pretty simple. Now, to add this into my workspace, I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop it. You can also use these buttons here, insert and overwrite. And we'll talk about the difference between those. And for the reasons that those... Uh, can cause unwanted changes to my timeline. I usually just drag and drop straight in here. Now when I do that drag and drop, suddenly my timeline that was empty a moment ago now has a sequence in it. And a sequence is a timeline that allows me to assemble a bunch of video clips into one piece that will run together later. So let's take a look. Now this has been named down here, and I may want to name this sequence it was named. This is currently named after the clip that I originated it from. So if I right-click and choose Rename, I'm going to name this uh, Sequence 1 or Main. There's a few different reasons I might name name things differently. Now I'm going to choose another clip. And uh, there we go. Here's another clip. So I've opened it up in, in, in Source. Notice that I'm doing a lot of time where I'm moving my panels around by, oops, 
Select now. There, I made a mistake. I moved my timeline up. That was an accident. So I'm going to go to Window, Workspaces, and Reset to Save Layout. And a lot of times I'm moving things around by dragging my panel edges to maximize the area in one or the other of them to see better. So as I'm working with this, I've just done this so I can work with this. I'm going to go ahead and click on this in point and out of point and drag and drop this in. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll stagger my edits up and down, and I can use this to uh, easy, more easily see where the cuts are. Now, there are a couple more ways you can edit, and um, what I'm going to do is maximize this space here. Uh, a couple more ways I can edit. I can also just drag the end using the arrow tool or the selection tool, which is the shortcut is V. I'm going to go over here and just drag the end, and it wants to drag in the direction that, you, that it wants to go, the, the arrow points. So the arrow is pointing which way it wants to move, depending on which way it's pointing. So I can do this, and you can always edit within the timeline itself. That's a way to do things. And a third way to edit is to simply cut pieces out. So let me drag these and get rid of them. I'm going to push Delete, and let's get another clip. And I'm going to find one that's got some content in it. And again, I'm double-clicking and trying to find something to work with. And some of these are interviews also. So I'm just going to grab this and drag it into place. And now I've dragged the entire clip into place. And one of the useful features here is I can see the sound. If you don't see any waves in here, uh, sound indicators, then you may want to take a look at if, the, if, if you need the sound for that or if you made a mistake somewhere. So what I can do here is I can actually play through the time. And I'm going to switch between the arrow and the razor tool. So the razor tool. Hello, can you please tell us your name? Uh, Ethan Castro. Spell it out first. E T H A. So he's telling us his name, which we do not use in our edited pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trim this back using the arrow tool or selection tool, and move it down. And now I'm gonna try to find a place to cut it. Is there anything you really like about culinary? No, we do not want to hear the questions, so I'm gonna cut that out, and. I mean, it's fun, you know, you just go in there and cook food, even if it's not for you, so I like it. It's, it's enjoyable, and it's pretty easy. And now what I'll do is I'm going to switch to the razor tool. Keyboard shortcut is C. So if I hit this key, C key on my keyboard, I can use this to edit with, and you can just kind of like pop through here. And you want to be conscientious about what you're choosing to keep and what to remove. But as we work our way through this, you can use this to cut pieces out. And if your snapping is on, that is, this magnet icon is blue. Then it's going to snap to um, right to your right to your current time marker. So I can cut these pieces out. And let's assume that these pieces that I was cutting are because I wanted to focus on something specific he's saying. So I can click on these with the selection tool, and I'm using delete to cut them out. You can also, by the way, right click I think and cut those. So the same thing is also or or control X, excuse me, or control X. So control X will delete it. Control Z undoes, and of course you can cut here. So there's a few ways to get the job done. Adobe does a great job of providing us options to work with uh, in order to make our, our workflow um, specific to what we like to do and how we like to flow, flow through our work. So those are three basic steps for editing. And um, next step will be text. And text will be specifically using some of the graphical tools within Premiere to uh, add information to the screen.